Hello everyone. It is Friday, July 10th, 2020. Temperature is 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. I am in the Flatiron District and in the middle of Tropical Storm Fay. I'm going to be walking through Manhattan today through this tropical storm and see what it's like. I think it's going to be raining pretty much the entire day. And I actually uh, made a mistake on the, <laughs> on the title. Tropical Storm Fay, there's no E, only a Y, F-A-Y, not F-A-Y-E, but other than that minor error, let's get this walk started. So, gimbal up, camera up, umbrella ready, and I'm off. Let's see what nasty weather Tropical Storm Faye has in store for New York City. DJ Insanity saying it doesn't look too bad. It was much worse earlier. I think it's supposed to get a lot more severe in about an hour, maybe two hours. It was kind of like on and off for a little bit. I did do some filming in the rain just before I started this live walk and there were some pockets of some really nice downpours. I'll have those videos up on my Black and Shadow channel probably tomorrow but if you can see my outfit today I am ready for this rain because I know that it's going to be here for a while let me just sit down on this bench don't worry I'm not going to get my pants wet So, here I am. My face is a little bit bright, but that's just a reflection of the light. But I got a rain coat and rain uh, boot pants and also some boots that are water resistant. I don't think they're waterproof, but I am prepared for this. Thank you, Heidi Salas, for $2.99. Appreciate it very much. My coat is a Gore-Tex coat, but it works well for this kind of weather anyway. It's meant for bike riding, actually. The rain's starting to pick up a little bit. Someone's saying I'm tropical storm proof. I kind of feel that way. I'm prepared for this. I am prepared. Let's go through the park, Madison Square Park. Oh my goodness. Look at how saturated this ground is. You think that tree's got enough water? I don't think that tree needs to be watered for another year with the amount of water that's over there on the ground. That's ridiculous.
I think even the ground gave up. They were like, you know what, Rain? I'm not taking it anymore. I'm gonna spit out all your water. A hundred and one saying the video quality sucks. Well, I've got a solution for that. If you subscribe to my Black and Shadow channel, I'm going to upload two walks that I did earlier on that channel during Tropical Storm Phase. So you'll have some high quality rain footage there. But this is a live stream and I'm limited to my cell phone connection data. It's not able to stream in really high quality, even though I think it is. But go ahead and subscribe to my Black and Shadow channel. I have that at least one of those videos up tomorrow. Tommy Link with 549 euros saying congrats for 150k subscribers. Greetings from Germany. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I actually expected the rain to be a little bit harder, but as far as I know, this storm's gonna go on pretty much the rest of the night. Here's 23rd Street and Madison Avenue. Are we getting a break from the rain? Oh my goodness. I just started this live stream. Where's all the rain? I guess we're going to get a break from the rain for a little bit. I think so. Let me walk over here. I hate navigating around scaffolding, especially with an umbrella. I just close my umbrella so I can get through. Here's some scaffolding with no top. I don't know what they're doing here. Maybe they're getting ready to uh, remove it. A line of buses here. I think these are all the express buses. Time according to this bus station is 4.32 p.m. and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess now it's lightening up in uh, midtown Manhattan. I don't expect this to be this way for a while though. It's going to pick up. Test DC with five dollars. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Let's walk up Park Avenue South. Is my umbrella wind resistant? Yes, it is. What's NYPD doing here? Oh, parking. I was wondering why the police was just stopping right in front of me. Look at how deep this water is. Here's a hole, right? I'm going to put my foot in it. That's how deep that puddle is. Thank you, Sakaro Kamasato, for $2.99. Appreciate it very much. And uh, Eviak1201, five bucks. Be safe, especially for all those on the coast forecasting coastal flooding. Yes, everyone needs to stay safe from this storm. I would imagine that the coastal areas, especially the beaches and the waterfronts, they'll probably have higher than level than normal sea levels. Tara T with four ninety nine. I'm so brave to go outside today. Thank you. All you need to do is get dressed for the occasion, that's all. I'll dread to, dread to be outside if I'm not prepared for it. If I get caught in the rain without an umbrella or without my clothing, then, then that's a problem. Look at this tiny umbrella. I don't want to be that woman with that umbrella. That's not going to hold up. I must have... Uh, noticed at least five umbrellas that went to umbrella heaven today some of them were just abandoned in the middle of the street At first I thought this was an um, abandoned umbrella too, but it's just someone there using the Link NYC kiosk. Abraham meet with 200 Mexican pesos. Thank you, man. I was saying I rock, take care. Thank you. Appreciate every one of you today. I'm walking in this tropical storm so you don't have to. Abraham Mead saying it's like 10 US dollars, but I hope it helps. It's not the amount, but it's the thought that counts. I have a lot of my viewers who watch my videos, they 
want to give me money but I understand if they're like financially you know not able to and I just appreciate every one of my viewers just coming here to stop by the live stream and watch these videos it's good enough for me don't feel like you need to uh, contribute to the super chat or join my membership but doing so does help support the channel and I do appreciate if you do that but becoming a member you'll get some exclusive perks like extra videos and custom emojis that you'll be able to use in the live chat and a lot of the money too that gets contributed to this channel it goes right back into the channel as well I had the website developed I'm making more custom emojis getting the illustrator to work on it buying new umbrellas and shoes so all right so I guess I don't need this umbrella now because I feel like the rain just completely stopped so let's close it Collapsible umbre umbrella. It's an inverted umbrella. Anyway, folks, this is what I look like right now without an umbrella. Whoa, the wind just flew. Uh, Steven Zamora is the CRC. Oh my goodness. Woo. That, you can't close my umbrella, folks. Because this umbrella would have flipped over now. I think. <laughs> my goodness. I, I saw someone super chat a CRC 2500, but I didn't get a chance to. I was getting blown away by the wind. Alright. Um... Who did that? Steven Zamora say something in Spanish like Puro Vida. All right, Puro Vida. I closed my umbrella at the right time. Here's 28th Street. I could end this video now and duck into the subway station. I don't want to do that though. It's just the rain just started. 28th Street Station. Who knows though, if I go into the subway station, I may see some rain inside the subway because Sometimes there are these viral videos inside the subway station and it's raining inside the subway station. So let's see if that's the case. Oh, we got a leak here. I told you folks, it's raining in subway station. So if you think you can escape the rain by coming to the subway station, you're wrong. You are wrong. Any rain down here? Nope. Just over there by the staircase. B. Griffin saying it still rains on the subway. Yes, it does. Up, oh, rain's picking up again. Here it goes.
Victor93, thanks for joining the panda level. Here's bread and butter. This looks like a corner grocery store, a convenience store. I'm actually gonna wait here because I heard a lot of trucks rolling over these metal plates and it made some interesting sounds. What I love during my rain videos is listening to all the sounds and seeing how people react because People can act in unexpected ways in the rain. You would never think. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's something that's iconic to New York. Even got a car honk. I thought I wouldn't hear that in a while. Okay, so now this board is all wet now. I don't, th I don't think wet boards hold up as well as dry boards. Wood is more brittle when it gets wet, so just keep that in mind. Is the rioting over for the most part? I've heard no reports on the news of businesses getting looted and riot, riot starting. Right now, most of the people who are doing the protests are very peaceful. So I'm glad that uh, um, that time frame of the violent, you know, store break ins and the looting has ended. That was a very scary situation in New York City. Here's Madison Avenue. I'm gonna walk up Madison Avenue for a little bit. Right now, Manhattan is 
much more empty than I thought it was going to be. Deborah Perez saying, I would love to see you walk in London. Can you do a live walk in London, England when you get the time? I mean, right now, with travel being restricted to most countries throughout the world, it's going to be even hard to do that. I want to take it one day at a time, but one of my fellow YouTubers that I watch, Watch Walker, he does very good videos of London and the UK. You can go check his channel out. I don't have to be all over the place. Let's go check out the steam pipe across the street. People who have not been to New York City before are very impressed by a steam pipe. They always wonder what the heck is that thing? What the heck is this thing? What are you smoking steam pipe, huh? Why are you making a lot of noise? I'm gonna do something fun. I'm gonna wait for a red light first. Maybe this will work now. Oh, you can't even see it. I gotta take the umbrella down. Oh. Okay, is traffic stop yet? Yes it is, here we go. Mysterious. Ooh, I'm a movie set now. So as of now, Tropical Storm Faye is a dud, but I expect it to pick up soon, maybe another hour. Unless that was all of the storm and it just passed by already. Robert Parker, thank you for five bucks, man. Appreciate it. Eckington, Wash DC, you didn't know it was storming out. Well, now you do. You can see it live as it happens. I'm the weatherman who goes out there and acts all crazy and has like their hair blowing all over the place. I always like those uh, 
viral videos of the weatherman getting blown away by the wind and the weather. I mean, I feel sorry for them, but it is pretty funny to see them out there and being like, you have no idea how strong this storm is. Ah, and then he like flies off the screen. I'm at 32nd Street now. You know what, let's go this way. Let's check out Koreatown. And the Empire State Building. Judith Hinton with 10 bucks. Congrats on 150,000 subs. You're rocking it. Yes. Thank you so much. I mean, I had my 150,000 sub thank you and shout out yesterday during the live stream, but I guess thanking you, you know, too many times can't hurt either. But thank you so much, everybody, for making this channel to 150,000 subs because without you, this channel won't be here what it is today. Okay. I really feel sorry for that person. He definitely needs some help from social services or something. It's, it's so sad to see stuff like that in the city. Up, oh, rain's picking up again. Here we go. Oh, it's blowing now. The water's blowing. Uh, Torita ENY with $2. Action K is a superhero and potholes are kryptonite. Harine Johansson with 20 SCK. Thank you. Here's the Empire State Building. Jaden saying that the people respond to my pothole complaints. I'm not sure. I didn't check the tracking number. But from my experience, they'll usually respond to it within a week. They'll usually respond to it within a week. But It'll get responded to eventually. I think it's too soon for them to reply to it. Kelly C with five bucks saying, oops. Uh, shout out to R-U-E who is originally from Morningside Heights area by Columbia. Thank you. And Phoenix R with another $5 watching from Ohio. Can't afford a trip to New York City. Hi, Christy.
So Koreatown right now, this food hall is open. You can't get more steam than this. And uh, this place across the street, they have outdoor seating available now. So Koreatown's adjusting now. When I came here before, there was no outdoor seating, but the outdoor seating has been, has been putting up more and more throughout the city. They've got an outdoor area here, but no tables and no chairs yet. Smart move because they don't want those tables and chairs to get wet. Grace Street, I'm glad they're having outdoor dining. This is a very, very good um, Korean dessert place. So I'm glad they have outdoor seating. This makes sense. Because in the summertime, if it's hot, People will go in there, get something cool to eat, and eat outside. But look at this, folks. Koreatown's adjusting. Jong Ro's second floor has a outdoor seating area. It makes sense because no one's occupying the ground level in front of them other than Citibank. And then New Wanzhou. New Wanzhou, another great Korean restaurant. They've got outdoor seating as well. And I saw a sign, the uh, Juvenix Spa is open. They are allowed to open as of July 6th, so. And this place has something interesting. They've got tents. So you can still dine outside without getting wet. Great setup here by these folk. as well as this one. Look at this. They got all fancy with this one, Sam Wan Garden, which is another excellent Korean restaurant here. It's even decorative here. It looks like you're even sitting, you know, in a forest or something. Wow, look at this. This is a fully enclosed tent only one size open for seating but they got their advertisements for their food outside so if you miss the storefront you can come here and look at their menu you don't even have to go inside frozen watermelon margarita for 14 bucks classic sangria for 14 mojito for 14 and a lemonade for five All right, now I'm in the Herald Square area. I am not gonna go to the north because I know I have internet issues all the time when I come by this area, so I'm gonna go around it. I've done enough live streams in this area to know that it has trouble. I don't know what it is, but going that way, there's no signal. Thank you, Cesar de Talis Fijo from Brazil. Appreciate it. By the way, folks, that may be one of the last times you're gonna see the JCP sign in front of Manhattan Mall because they are going to be no longer. 
JC Penney declared bankruptcy. It was open for over a hundred years, JC Penney. Okay, no more rain again. How many times do I have to do the umbrella shuffle? Closing, reopening, closing, reopening. There it is, JC Penny. Whoa, whoa. These people are running even though there's no rain coming down. I don't understand their behavior. Maybe they know that the train's gonna leave at a certain time. That's why they're hustling, but Normally you'll see that when it's pouring out and people don't want to get wet. It's unusual for people to be running when it's not raining like that. Okay, look up here. So the Gimbals Bridge, there used to be a department store here called the Gimbals. And Gimbals and Macy's competed. But this is a relic to the past, connecting the two buildings. I think they own both buildings, the Gimbals Department Store Company. Look at how hard UPS is working. They're still delivering packages and mail in this weather. The UPS slogan is, what can Brown do, to, do for you? And they work in this horrific weather just to get your packages delivered. They never stop. Penn stations up ahead. Okay, I think this bus is starting its route now. This is the Q32 bus going to Jackson Heights, Queens. This goes over the bridge into Queens. It's a bus that I take pretty often. Another Q32 is pulling in. Benji's out, you like the Q32 bus? Yeah, a lot of people, they prefer the bus over the subway. It's also, um, it pretty much mirrors the seven train line for most of its length. So it's an alternative to the seven train if 
the train ever has trouble, you can take the Q32. Here's Penn Station, folks. Not as much foot traffic as there once was. Deborah Perez, it, um, the cost for the Q32 bus is the same price as the subway, a metro card, a metro card fare. Currently, that's two dollars and seventy-five cents. Are the buses still free? Yes, they are free until the end of July. I have heard that the MTA is going to institute some kind of fare control on the local buses starting in August. I don't know how that's going to work, but hopefully it does not take up as much time as it should. One of my pet peeves of riding the bus is waiting for everyone to pay. Andrew Panis with two bucks. Great job, Action Kid. Am I going uptown now? Yes, I am. Sometimes riding the bus, you'll wait like two, three minutes just to wait for everybody to pay before the bus even leaves the bus stop. It's such an inefficient way to collect fares. Sounds like there's something going on here. Already two NYPD vehicles responded. Probably there's gonna be a third one too. Sounds like something major. Things are starting to sound normal now here. Whoa! Is there gonna be another one? Pretty sure there is. Here's Macy's. You know what I want to do is walk up 7th Avenue. This will really get a sense of how the city is at this time. Because this is a very traffic mm -hmm. avenue, especially for people going to and from Penn Station, shopping at Macy's. I did hear a comment asking if Macy's is open. Yes, it is. All retail in New York City is allowed to open now, although at a limited capacity. They have the right to restrict occupancy. Wayne TC, five bucks, stay dry if I can. I've pretty much been staying dry for like half an hour now. The rain just pretty much slowed to a crawl. I don't know if it's going to pick up later or what, or if I missed most of the rain when I just went live. But regardless, I did catch a lot of the high winds and the rains during my pre-recorded walks. That'll go up on my Black and Shadow channel tomorrow. At least one of the videos will.
Made in Detroit with 10 bucks. My wife and I watch your channel daily and we would like to thank you, Action Kid, for all the awesome video tours of the greatest city in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Made in Detroit. Appreciate it. You know what, folks? Look at this. The sun is actually coming out. The sun is coming out now. So may maybe the tropical storm did pass. Thank you, Frederick Christensen, DKK20. Appreciate it. Here it is. I'm curious now. I'm going to look at my weather app. Is this rain going to start again or what? Okay, so looks like it won't start until like 8 p.m. So as far as I'm concerned, there really isn't any rain right now. Melissa England, thank you for a dollar. Appreciate it. All right, so most of this live stream is going to be without rain. Not bad. At least I was able to record the, um, the downpour of the rain when it was there. POV Asia Far saying you're gonna give me money uh, in the near future too. It's been tight where you are. If you're tight on your money, then I don't even want it, you to donate to me or contribute to me. I'm serious about that. Only give what you can afford to. It's a nice tall building here. I actually know there's some streamers online who actually wouldn't even like blink an eye if someone was in a financial situation. They couldn't afford to pay their bills and they like their live streamers so much that they contributed a lot of money and the streamer would like just take it anyway and not even say anything. But my philosophy is only give what you can afford. Don't do it because you really like who I am and you want to like donate your life savings to me. That's, believe me, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to accept your money that way.
All right, so here's the button. We are in the heart of the fashion district now, 7th Avenue. As you can see from that street sign, 7th Avenue, co-named Fashion Avenue. And you also have a statue here. The Garment Worker by Judith Weller. There used to be a lot of lot more garment factories and industry here, but most of it has been commercialized now. Now there's like banks here and office buildings, but a lot of people used to work here, the garment district. And here's the button. Okay, I'm only two blocks from Times Square. And everyone here, I'm pretty sure, wants to know how Times Square is now, including me. Are there going to be Broadway shows? Are there going to be people pressing people for comedy tickets and comedy shows? Is the Naked Cowboy going to be there? Are there going to be tourists in Times Square? Let's see. I may have to imitate the time, the sounds of Times Square again. There's the headquarters of Ernst and Young. The accounting firm. Well, the subway is back in Times Square. I hear some sounds of the subway. Okay, so there's more people in Times Square now, but we'll see if that continues once I get past 42nd Street. All right, where's the Times Square that I uh, once loved? Where's all my tourists here? Where's the Times Square steps where I can see the entire view of Times Square? Where's all the costume characters, the Broadway shows? Because I don't see that right now. Uh, Luis Castro asking if I'm selling masks. Yes, the Teespring store has mask listings now. So if you're interested in getting some Action Kid branded masks, you can. 
They're for sale in my merchandise store. There's uh, four different designs there. The I Walk With Action Kid mask, I Travel With Action Kid mask, I Love Action Kid mask, and also the Action Kid New York City map design. Those are the four designs of masks you can order from there. Okay, let's go. Here's Times Square, and it's a disappointment. No tourists, no life, a lot of lights, but no action. It still saddens me to see Times Square in this state. Right now, Times Square is like the quietest neighborhood in New York City. There's more people in Flushing, Queens, or Astoria, Queens, or Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, or Mott Haven, Bronx, than Times Square. And to me, that's like so, so surreal. I never thought that Times Square would be more empty than the other neighborhoods in New York City. Like, really. This is the quietest neighborhood in New York now, Times Square. But I'm gonna change that, folks, because I'm bringing the sounds of Times Square back. Here's one Times Square, home of the New Year's Eve ball drop. I'm pretty sure most people have turned on the television before and heard this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Yay! And then if you have a significant other, maybe you'll grab, grab them and go, mwah. Or you'll toast the champagne, go like this, you get drunk off your face. That's what happens here. That's the most iconic Times Square moment. But if you want some more Times Square sounds that used to be here, I'm going to provide them to you. So get ready for the show, folks. Because the show isn't over until it's over. It's the Phantom of the Opera! For free, folks. For free. Anyone want free CD? Comedy club, folks. Comedy tickets. Comedy seller. Anybody want? Comedy. Okay. Uh, un foto, por favor. Yes! Un photo. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, can you take a picture for me? Yes. Thank you. How about, um, oh, uh, Ching Pai Chao Ma. Kai, Kai. Yi, er, san. Psh. Yi, er, san. Psh. Okay. Those are the Times Square impressions that are no longer here. So, so sad to see Times Square like this, empty. And I forgot the most important one for those extreme tourists 
who want the entire Times Square experience. We got to give them the extreme Times Square experience. So let's do this. We need the jumping shot. Okay, jumping shot. One, two, three. I'm bringing the tourists back into Times Square. And don't think that only one take is needed because you're going to need to do that at least 20 times in order to get the best jumping shot. Right, pigeons? Jumping shot. One, two, three. Hey, come back here. All right, enough fun for the today. All right, Marzan Worldwide for four ninety nine, born and bred in Manhattan, and proud of you for trying to get the big town back on his feet. We'll be back there soon. Maybe I'll see you. Thank you. And Kali Lynch with four ninety nine pounds. Enjoy your walks. Keep them going from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Right. Also, you're going to get a lot of people lost, like, excuse me, sir, do you know where Bryant Park is? Yeah, I can tell you where Bryant Park is. You go that way. The people lost for directions. Oh, can you tell me where the, the theater is for Hamilton? And then they're going to rush to the theater. They're also going to miss the show. You're like, oh, no, I'm late already for my show. I don't want to miss it. Hey, we got the musician here. All right, we're gonna enjoy a show. So awesome. All right. I have over 2,000 people following me right now watching this. All right, man. You deserve every part of this. Where are you from, man? I'm from here, Astoria, Queens. What's your name? I'm Kenneth. Kenneth, I'm Sweet Lou. Sweet Lou. I appreciate Kenneth. I appreciate you, brother. All right. Follow me, Instagram, A L T O L E W. My Instagram. A L T O L W. L-E-W. Alto Lou. Alto Lou. Okay. Got it, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You're awesome. Take care, man. I want this whole Times Square to come back. You know? It back. It'll be back. Maybe next year. I hope we have New Year's here. That's what I want. That's all.
All right. All right. Altolu on Instagram. All right. So now I gotta address these super chats. Uh, Annie with 399 Canadian. Shout out Ryan and Liam. All right. And Robert Parker, five bucks. Thank you. B Ben, 44, five bucks for Jazzman. And Michael with three dollars from Astoria, Queens. Awesome. Thank you. His Instagram name is Alto Lu. A L T O L E W. I'm sure he does not get enough tips for his music so I definitely enjoyed his performance there I hope you did too Robert Parker thank you for two bucks Blue Star Butterfly, thank you for $1.99. A blessed day and one of my favorites. All right. Why do you think so? Yes, yeah, Suburbano Carioca from Brazil. You met the jazz player. A symbol of Times Square, yes. Look at this, folks. There's tables out and chairs, but only one person sitting at the table. There's the Disney store. I see some people inside the Disney store. Let's take a break for a moment and enjoy the sights of Times Square. This is an interesting advertiser. It's taking up three screens. Lynn Snow at 499, you watched me on Earth Cam with the sax player. Nice man. I don't even know where the Earth Cam is. Is it over here? Maybe.
On my left is the Earth Cam. To the left of TKTS. Oh, I think it's over there. Bryce Davis with five bucks. Thank you. Sad to see how Times Square is so empty now. Yes. What's this over here? Is this Earth Cam? Are these people tourists? They look like tourists. <coughs> I think I'm coughing up because my uh, mouth is dry. Okay, where is Earth Cam? I gotta see this now. I passed it. Is it up there? On the roof? Maybe it'll be easier for me to search up Earth Cam and find out where it is. That's the last time I had trouble looking for it too. Maybe I'll see myself. Times Square Earth Cam. Earth Cam. Uh. I gotta look for this now. I see the yellow thing on the corner. I'll go over here. This is probably delayed. I know I'm gonna see myself soon. Where am I? This thing is so delayed. I should be able to see myself. Earth cam is three to four minutes behind. All right, forget this. Forget this. If it's three to four minutes behind, that's not really uh, practical. I didn't know it was that delayed. So forget it. All right. Let me adjust these super chats. Um, I got two 199 super chats from DB Burns. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. All right. At least I know where the direction is of the earth cam. It must, must be over there somewhere. It's like high up. Either it's over there or maybe over here. I don't know. Or over there. Thank you for another dollar ninety nine DB Burns. The Earth Cam super high up. All right, I can't find out where this camera is. It's somewhere up there, cause it's angled that way. Yeah, you see me on Earth Cam now because that was three to four minutes ago. <laughs> so it wasn't really live. Thank you, DB Burns, for another dollar ninety-nine. V-Metal with 499 pounds, mom and watching you all the way from Scotland. All right. Earth Cam is live for you. All right. I'm really going to look for one. Vashali Dhyakar with 200 Indian rupees from India. Thank you. I gotta look this now. Times Square Earth Cam. Seems like the Earth Cam is frozen to me. All right, one last try to find out where the Earth Cam is. I'm going to stand by the uh, green sign over there so you know where I am. And then I could find it from there. I'm going to I'm going to sit here now and I'm going to try to find myself. I can't even move this chair. All right. So, where in the world am I? I don't see myself in here. I'm supposed to be over here, but I don't even see a green jacket. Oh, now, now I'm showing up. It's delayed. All right, so I see myself now and now I got to look for this thing. Okay.
let's zoom in. Uh, five bucks from David Amasu from uh, shout out to Debbie Saddleback and Tina and Earl and Ted. Okay. Earth cam's somewhere in there. I don't know. They hit the camera very well, I think. All right. Earth cam somewhere up there. I'm trying to look for this camera and it's very, it's hidden very well. People say it's on top of the green sign or this and that. It's on top of calm, is that it? Right there? No way. Maybe it is. All right, it is, it is this. It was so small, I didn't see it at first, but that's the Earth Cam camera. All right, hello folks, I'm waving now. You're gonna see it on the Earth Cam in like 30 seconds maybe. It's delayed. All right. Gloria Davis, thank you for a dollar. Appreciate it. Renee Marino, thank you for the 499. You love my videos. Thank you. I'm walking up Broadway. Whoa, there's tourists here still. He's taking a picture. Whoa, there's still tourists in Times Square. I can't believe it. Is this his first time here? Lucas wants me to look at the payphone. All right, let's look at this one. Titan. Uh, no phones, but we've got two bottles there and a fly and an unknown yellow liquid in this clear plastic bottle. I don't even want to guess what that is. Yeah, I'm passing by that. No yellow liquids for me and no flies. The things you pass by when you don't look in the random payphones.
there's some water that's coming down a little bit. Hey, rain's picking up. Here we go. I didn't have to open my umbrella for a good amount of time, but now, here we go. Looks like we're back to our scheduled programming. We'll see how um, extreme this weather gets now. Luna likes my umbrella, it's a galaxy. Yeah, this is the uh, star design. I can even make it orbit too. Let's see what's for sale here. Olaf, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Bernie, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, and Uncle Sam. And we've got snow globes New York City skyline got some glass figurines whoa winds picking up got chase I don't know what this beanie baby is Statue of Liberty me, me, Naomi Ching with $4.99. Enjoy a Starbucks coffee or chocolate from Jersey City. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have some New York themed plates and luggage. You know the wind is picking up. I love New York t-shirts. Three for Bill Williams asking if New York City will return to the way it was. Right now, that's uncertain. Who knows what will happen? Drag Racer 64, five bucks. Thank you. 
I know eventually it will, but how long that's gonna take is anyone's guess. Because there's a lot of unknowns. There you got the I Love New York Gifts store across the street, McDonald's and the Times Square Church. This I Love New York gift store is closed. You can see my reflection in the window. Look at this, I didn't know Action Cave was for sale. Sky Bloom saying my reflection. That'll be such a great business opportunity for me. I should start selling my reflection online and charge a dollar for each person who buys my reflection. It'll come straight out of a fantasy book. You look in the mirror and you see Action Kid. Although, that'll be like, I think it will be creepy if that happened. I don't think I'll pay for that. Thank you, the Loco Loco for five pounds. Thank you for making my day in quarantine more entertaining. Appreciate it very much. Ooh, this is very iconic. Let's go up here. This is mysterious. I think I'll hit 3,000 if the weather starts getting um, heavier. We've got the hope sign here. Wow, this is iconic. You can't get a more New York moment than this. Police car, steam pipe, and rainy weather. Oh my gosh. This is wallpaper quality right here. Mysterious. Just gonna stand here. Maybe I'll take off my mask and make it look better. Whoa, my glasses are fogging up. Oh my gosh. Let's walk into the steam. Can you see anything, folks? Tell me what's in there, because I'm not going in there.
Yeah, the stream was lagging because I don't know what happened, but someone called this number on this phone. And I don't know who can get the phone number on this phone because I never gave out my number to anybody. I just got this phone just for live streaming. So must be Verizon giving my phone number away. Otherwise, I don't know who would call it. But I specifically got this phone for that purpose so that I wouldn't get called. Thank you for 499 Manuel Gomez. Appreciate it. All right, so rain's picking up now. The rain is picking up now. Thank you for five dollars Australian Rai Rai. Good morning from Lockdown City of Melbourne, Australia. Gloria is saying this video is a true black and shadow video now. I wish I passed for those by those steam pipes earlier. Thank you for the two bucks, Janie Shaw. Enjoying my walking videos of New York. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't think this storm, to be honest, is gonna get any heavier. This is gonna be the um, most it's gonna be. I think it's just gonna be drizzle like this with a lot of rain all over the place and it's gonna blow the water all over. But it is looking pretty miserable out. Juanita Flores, thank you for five bucks. Appreciate it. Let's see what's for sale in this gift shop. We got custom license plates. Big Boss, Trump 2020, I Love New York, Fifth Avenue, Big Apple, Queens, 42nd Street. New York's NYPD, Mafia, Number One Mom, Number One Dad, The Boss, and Broadway. Look at this, folks. The water is just blowing all over the place. It's getting all over my glasses, my hands. But I'm sweating more from inside than outside.
I think this is a good place for me to uh, stop and take out my external battery pack because usually around this time I'll get a low battery warning. I come prepared. All right, battery pack is in. Gotta close up my backpack. Let me put this down. Alrighty, I'm charged now. Let's go across 57th Street. Fifty seventh Street folks. The rain's coming down more and more. I guess I was wrong about the weather staying the way it was, because we're gonna have some uh nasty weather here. Pro of Tanks asking if I prefer raining in New York or when it's sunny out. I actually prefer when it's sunny out because then I don't have to deal with um, getting prepared for the rain. When it's raining, then you need to wear the clothes and you need to bring the umbrella. And then you have to get wet. Oh my goodness, the rain's coming down more. All right. Let's go down 57th. J. Raz saying, as a good thing, smartphones are water resistant. Yes. You can dunk an iPhone SE into a bathtub and you won't have to worry about getting damaged. So I'm pretty sure I can handle a little bit of water from rain. Here's the avenue that not too many people know about. Six and a half avenue. Yes, there is a half an avenue in New York. Six and a half.
pipe back you grew up there and you didn't know there was a six and a half avenue well now you know it's actually a pedestrian uh street it goes in between all the buildings i think there's a direct connection to um 54th street oh i'm not walking on this they there's a reason why they had it originally roped off like this they don't want anyone walking on it so that's another reason why you got to be aware when you're walking Can I walk the six and a half avenue? You can. It's a public access way in between the buildings. Thank you for three bucks, Eddie Perez. Here's Sixth Avenue. Alright, next block is 5th Avenue. <laughs> Gary Hardy with 20 bucks. Man, dude, thanks. You always make wife and I remember the good parts of living in New York. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for that. I gotta tip my umbrella to you. Oh my goodness, how much water is in there? It's dirty too, all brown. Yucky, yucky. This is why the streets have problems in New York because the water doesn't get drained properly and this water just sits and seeps into the ground and it causes the, uh, the soil underneath to get weak and that's how potholes form. J. Rod saying it would be terrible if there's a pothole in there and a car goes over it. Yes, potholes get more dangerous in the rain because you can't see the bottom. You just see water and then you think, oh, the roads move, right? And then you go into the water puddle and there goes your tire because there's a pothole underneath the puddle.
Matt J saying worse is car sending up a filthy wave of water in you when you're by a curb. I heard a story of that one time. Some person posted on Reddit that they were stiffed by a well this Reddit post is a taxi driver, so their customer didn't pay the fare. And they were so mean about it and the taxi driver tried to get them to pay up, but they didn't. So what happened was, it was a rainy day. They got out of the car, and then the taxi driver just drove quickly into a puddle of water, splashed the water on the non-paying customer. How's that for uh, instant karma? Why would you go into a taxi cab if you know you can't afford it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a problem here. We've got a problem here. We're experiencing some, um, some umbrella difficulties. I lost the umbrella Olympics there. That woman back there and me, we both lifted our umbrellas at the same time. And my umbrella went back and got caught on the metal fence. All right, 57 streets. Let's check out um, the Black Lives Matters paint job that the city put on the street here. That's very controversial. So I think this was put up yesterday. They painted black lives matters in front of trump tower here on fifth avenue between 57th street and 56th street it's a very controversial paint job and rightly so because it is sending out a statement unfortunately i cannot walk on that side of the street i think because they uh, blocked it off but I can go on the other side there. Okay, oh. So that person just tried to cover their face, but I didn't realize it until the last second. Oh, here we are, folks. The Black Lives Matters paint job on the street here. And I gotta tell you something. This mural is huge it's a huge painting on the street here takes up the entire block
the huge um, paint job and also the huge tower. There's Louis Vuitton across the streets. They've got a rainbow in front. And here's the other side of the painting. I smell the fresh paint job now. Let's see what Louis Vuitton has. Obviously, I do all my shopping at Louis Vuitton. I'm very fashionable, as you can see here. What I'm wearing now is all Louis Vuitton approved clothing and rain gear. No, J-Rod, um, Tom said I shop at Gucci, but he was wrong. I shop at Louis Vuitton. Secretly, I um, dress up in those clothes back home. You don't see me on my live stream because those clothes are too expensive for me to wear when I'm walking here. So, in order to preserve them in the perfect state that they are, I just wear them very lightly at home, and I don't wear them when I go out. I have all my Louis Vuitton clothing. I've got like a hundred Louis Vuitton bags at home. It cost me a million dollars for that wardrobe. You can call it the million dollar action kid wardrobe. Here's a line for the Apple store. It's amazing, folks, that people are willing to wait in line for the Apple Store in the rain. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have to show some respect to this umbrella because it lived a good life, folks. Unfortunately, this is what happens when your umbrella just gives up and can't take the wind anymore. We need to give the umbrella a proper burial. Umbrella, it was nice knowing you. I'm sure you were once a very cool umbrella up for display in the store and you lived a good life. Very good life, folks. Uh, let's see, how can I fix this thing? Wait, I got it. There we go. That, that works. It fits in better that way.
But that's a proper burial for that umbrella. All right, time to open mine up. All right, let's end this live stream by walking into Central Park. I think Central Park will be a good area for me to end this. All right, three seconds, two, one. I didn't make it. Central Park. All right, folks, to end this live stream, I'm going to place my umbrella here. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. And I'm going to wave goodbye. I think this will be a good photographic farewell but anyway folks if you enjoyed this live stream be sure to smash that like button subscribe for some more adventures and I'll see you all soon folks I hope you could all see me Signing off. Bye-bye. Oh, you want me to do a rain dance. All right, for those of you who have uh, stayed this long, let's do a rain dance. Why not? But I gotta put my umbrella on the bench here. Maybe this will be the fair, final farewell. Okay. Bye.